Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today is Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 15, Practice Problems Review is on more nets, more surface area. In problem 1, Jada drew a net of, or for a polyhedron and calculated its surface area. A, what polyhedron can be assembled from this net? And that, if you look, you have two identical triangular bases. And so this is going to be a triangular prism. Question B. Jada made some mistakes in her area calculation. What were the mistakes? Let's look piece by piece here. 4 by 5. Area is length times width, so 4 times 5 is 20. And so this is fine. The square, 4 by 4, 4 times 4 is 16, so that's fine. This rectangle here is 3 by 4, and 3 times 4 is 12, so that's okay. So our rectangles look to be good, which probably means our triangles are not. Well, we have 4 by 3. And usually, area is base times height divided by 2. Well, if we took 4 times 3, that's 12. She didn't divide. And so what mistake did she make? She calculated the triangles incorrectly. Area should be base times height divided by 2, which would be 4 times 3 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2, which is 6 square centimeters for each. So we're going to change this to 6 and 6. And in C, find the surface area of the polyhedron and show your reasoning. Well, we have the rectangle at 20. The square is 16. The other rectangle is 12. And we have our two triangles correctly now at 6 and 6. And when we add up 20 plus 16 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6, we get 60 square centimeters. Question two. A cereal box is 8 inches by 2 inches by 12 inches. What is the surface area? Show your reasoning. If you get stuck, consider drawing a sketch of the box or its net and labeling the edges with their measurements. Let's draw a rectangle here. And if we're doing a cereal box, let's just kind of bring this straight back here and down and over, and I'm not certainly the best artist in the world, but hopefully we can see that this is going to be a 12 by 8, and then coming back is going to be 2. And so, again, that's kind of a cereal box. I don't, I'm not the perfect artist, like I said, but Let's now find the area of these three faces. Remember, a surface area of a cereal box like this, a rectangular prism, has six faces, and we can only see three of them. And so if I focus in on this top portion first, this is the 2 here by 8. And so for this first rectangle, we have 2 times 8, which is 16. What about this side coming down? Well, this is the 12 coming down and 2 across, so for this rectangle, it's going to be 2 times 12, which is 24. And lastly, if we do the front piece here, this looks like it's 12 by 8. And so 12 by 8. 8 times 12 is going to be 96. 
Now, if I add all of these up, 16 with 24 and 96, these three rectangles I can see, we get 136 square inches, but that's only half of the story. We need to multiply this by 2 to get our final answer of 272 square inches. Let's move on to question 3. 12 cubes are stacked to make this figure. What is its surface area? And how would the surface area change if the top two cubes were removed? Well, let's focus just on that first part. The surface area here, let's look at the yellow sides first. I see one, two, three, four, five, six for the yellow. If I look at the blue, one, two, three, four, five, six for the blue. And the green, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to add these up. Six plus six plus six is 18. And once again, that's only half of the story. If I double that, we're going to end up with 36 square units. And so as we look to remove the top two cubes, we can confidently say that we're going to be losing this side, this side, and this side. Now, we're still going to have those two top blues. Those are just going to be uncovered down here. And so we're losing three of what we can see, but we need to double that, so that means we're going to be removing six. So it's going to decrease by six square units. Question four. Here are two polyhedra and their nets. Label all edges in the net with the correct lengths. Well, let's focus on these lengths that are 10 in A first. That looks like the longer edges here, there, here, here, and I need to scroll up a little bit, there. So we can label all those as 10. What about the sides that are four? Well, there are shorter sides, which are here, 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 and here. So, a four here, a four there, here a four, there a four, Almost everywhere, a 4-4. Four, four. No, just kidding. Not going to sing. Not good for any of us. And then our fives. Well, that's here, there, here, here. And so our fives are going to be there and there, as well as here and here. And I missed two, this one and this one as well. What about our rectangular pyramid? Well, if I just look at the triangle, I'm sorry, the rectangle first, the long part of the rectangle is certainly 10. So a 10 here and a 10 there, whereas the short part of the rectangle certainly looks like four. So a four there and a four here. All of those uh, slants for the triangle look like they're 13. And so these are all going to be 13. Continuing on to question five. What three-dimensional figure can be assembled from this net? Well, I only have one base, and it's a square, so I would think that this is a square pyramid. And as I look to find the surface area of this figure with one grid 
square being one square unit. Labeling my sides here, four, 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 and four. And all these triangles are going to be identical, which is really nice. The base is four. Looking at my height here, it also is, well, one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. And so, our square is four by four. So four times four is 16 square units for the square. Our triangle looks like a base of four, a height of five, and if area is equal to base times height divided by two for our triangle, four times five divided by two is 20 divided by two, which is 10 square units for that. Now, there are four of those triangles that are actually identical so that's 40. And again, it's good to look at it, but that's definitely 5 by 4. This is definitely 5 by 4, and this is definitely 5 by 4 with heights of 5 and bases of 4. Now that we have the 16 and the 40, add these two numbers up, and we get 56 square units as our last solution in this practice problem set. And that's it for this grade 6 unit 1 Lesson 15 review on more nets, more surface area. Good luck.